I came to UMBC from UMAB, and from there I had three promotions over a 10-year period. I moved out of financial services, out of the um, administrative area, to go to the academic area about halfway into my career at the uh, Information Systems Office. Finally, I saw an opening in what, where I am now, which is called the Visual Arts Department, which is the Col College of Arts and Sciences. I've been to more exhibits than I've ever been to in my life. I've been to more plays. I've, I've heard more different kinds of music. I've heard um, speakers and lecturers that, that come and, and just expand my knowledge of the world. I'm a Baltimore City girl, so I had not really had a great deal of exposure to Baltimore County and Baltimore. When I was drove in, there was still farmland surrounding UMBC, so I was like, where am I? You know, I'm not in Oz anymore. Over the years, as it's grown, as the buildings have developed, as the residential halls has gotten bigger, I realized that I was, I was part of a, a, a living community. The students impress me. When a student can be in China or Japan or Africa 48 hours ago, and then they come on campus and English is their second language, and they're already taking classes and they're already trying to exist in a completely foreign land, that is impressive. They come in with no fear. And because there's such a, a diversity of, of students and faculty, as the years went on, I grew. I learned more and more, and more about the world around me. And that's what I was looking for. And that, that is what UMBC does. It gives you those kind of opportunities.